Welcome to the Echoes of Enlightenment podcast. We'll be talking about spirituality, spiritual waking, things, life lessons, and self development. On this episode, we'll be talking about the healing process. During the healing process, it's going to be one of the toughest stages to overcome through this whole spiritual awakening. The growth is amazing once you work through this. But getting there is going to be a challenge, but it's worth it. So during the isolation stage, this is where all this occurs. After you've closed your laptop, turned off your phone, keep your phone on for emergencies, work, or whatever. Just don't use it like you used to use it. For Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. It's pretty much the detachment stage, TV, all that. So it'll take about five days to detox your thought process because it's been inundated with videos from Instagram, videos from Facebook, endless conversations with different people, Netflix, texting, everything. Keeping up with the latest celebrity. By day three, you're going to start thinking, oh, I wonder what's going on with um, whatever this situation, whoever you were following. See, that shows that some of these things that we watch are just big distractions and they take a while to leave our thought process. Where we're trying to get to is the place where you actually forget about all those things. Purge all of those thoughts out of your mind so you'll be able to hear your own. So by by day five or day seven, you will be able to clearly hear your own intuitions, your own thoughts. They won't be clouded by anybody else's input and you will finally be able to see what you would what you really think about things and how you really feel about things without being influenced by the outside world because now we're working with the inside so once we get to this point this is when you can start your your journey through the your journey through the healing It's time to revisit the past. What I mean by the past is all the things we've endured as a child through our preteens, through our teens, through our 20s. There's so many wounds that has never been healed. And we've been carrying this around our whole lives and wondering why things aren't working out for us or why we keep attracting the same people or why we keep putting ourselves in the same situations or why we always feel so heavy, so tired and weighed down. This is our past. Our past energy is still within us. Just because we think we've moved on, we have it. We're still carrying that weight around. So what we need to do is 
maybe before bed, just, you know, lay in the bed and just go back. You got to go back. You got to go back to your childhood and think about different things that you had a hard time with, you know, mom or dad, uncle, anybody who, any, anybody back in your past. Cause we have a lot of work to do to clear this. So when you go back to your past and that was something that was very hard, you can always tell when you're touching a, a sore spot is because as soon as you think of that situation when you were a kid or anything that was hard that you haven't completely healed from, your mind will instantly try to change the subject. And it would be, and it's, and it's done so cleverly to where you almost forget about what you just thought about. So as soon as you realize your mind, when you think about that, that subject and all of a sudden your mind switches to, I think I forgot to lock the back door. Stop and just say, go back and go back to that subject, to that incident or whatever it was and play out the whole scene, play out what happened. But chances are, before you even get a chance to play it out, your mind is already wondering, did I did I remember to do this? Did I remember to do that? Oh, did I take the food out of the freezer? Did, just anything. It's always going to be something. Because your mind is set up to keep you safe. And that means reject anything that could cause you harm. And you've blocked out some of these situations as a method of keeping you safe. But it was only temporarily. The memory's gone, but the emotion is still there and it's trapped in your body. It's never healed. And most of us are carrying around stuff from 20, 30 years ago. Some even more 40, 50 years ago. Things that we never healed. So after four, maybe, I don't know, no telling how many times you're going to keep getting diverted from this incident that happened back in the day that you haven't uh, healed from. Just keep going back, keep going back. And then play out the situation in your mind. Play it out all the way from the beginning, from what you remember, till the end. And as you're playing this out, the feelings will come up almost like you're there. Like you're you're exactly where you were in the present day, but 20 years ago. So you're going to feel that feeling and that's exactly what needs to happen. It's going to be tough because there was a reason why you glossed over it 20 years ago because you didn't want to feel this pain. But now it's time. Now you can go back and revisit it, the situation. And let your emotions run its course. A lot of the times it's it's still hard as an adult, but I think it's a lot easier as an adult than the kid that you were because we're just learning our emotions as a kid. But as we get got, you know, as we get older, we learn 
what things mean. And we also learn how to handle our emotions for the most part. So as you play this back, the situation, play it back and let and feel all the feelings that you felt during that moment and let let it play out and actually say what you wanted to say then. You can say it in your mind or if you live alone, say it out loud in your house. Now you have your chance to speak your peace. It's going to be tough. Tears are going to be rolling. Let that emotion run its course. It's okay to cry. It's okay to do whatever you need to do, but let it run its course because it needs to leave your body. You've been carrying this around. And then what I want you to do after the emotions come, crying, the whatever you need to do at the moment, you need to forgive yourself. You need to get you need to forgive the person. And if you say you don't want to forgive them, it doesn't mean that what they did was right at all by forgiving them. You're forgiving them so you can move forward. This is your life. They have no more control over it. So forgive yourself. Forgive the person. And then after that, there's one more talk you need to have. And that's with the younger version of you. With your younger self that went through that process. And you have the conversation as an adult now with the younger you. And you give your younger self a hug and say, it wasn't your fault. You didn't know what was going on. And there's some people out out there that are not looking out for the best best for us. And tell them you're okay. And we're going to move on. Now that weight you just let go is going to feel amazing. That's 20 years of carrying a backpack with 100 pounds in it around everywhere you went. Through different relationships that backpack has been on. Through friendships it's been on through jobs, through family events. You had that backpack on at Six Flags. And now that you're releasing these old memories, these old emotions that don't serve you, it's it's time to start living now. You're going to feel so light. You're going to probably right after you do the session. You're going to feel great. But you got to remember that if you're in your 40s or in your 50s and 60s, it's been years of different situations, relationships, best friends stabbing you in the back. There's a bunch of things just as you can just go through some of those and do that same process play out the situation that happened feel the emotion 
Say what you need to say. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. And begin living again. All this is easier said than done. It's going to be a tough road, but once you make it through it, you're definitely going to be glad you did it. And meanwhile, each each situation that you work through, pat yourself on the back because that was a hard situation that you had to go back and revisit to tie up loose ends and to let your emotions run their course about how you felt and then speak your piece. And pat yourself on the back for doing it. Because this is it's, a, it's tough. But each time you do that, you're turning into a new person. You're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. Taking all these bags off. All these weights off your back. And forgiving yourself and others. And situations, gotta let them go. Just let them run their course. It's gonna take time, but as soon as you start, just know it at the end. After the first one, and you feel that feeling of, you're gonna feel that release, you're just gonna know, like, oh, if I keep on healing, that's what healing is. It's Nurturing your wounds. You're finally putting bandages on your wounds. And before you know it, you'll be healed. I'm going to end this right here. Until next time.